just give a huge warm welcome to Woody Sticks. Mm. <clears throat> I'm Woody Sticks, and I tap once for yes, two for definitely yes, three for I'll say yes to anything at this point, <laughs> okay? And when they tap back, I repeat, all right? You want to be sure that they're actually engaging with you, not just stretching their ankle. I've made that mistake more than once, okay? Then once the tips and taps have taken on the absurdity of a preschool game, you are ready to cruise ahead and find out what is above the shoes. Did I lose you? Are you with me? Okay, some of you look a little confused, and by confused, I mean straight, so. Give you a little context, okay? We're talking about cruising here, right? You know, the ancient heritage of scrappy chaps getting it done. Poetry in motion. Am I waxing poetic? You look like you could use a direct approach here, okay? Unbridled sex in public places. You got it, all right? I'm something of an expert. <laughs> now, this particular Thursday, I have already walked across campus and set up camp in the promised land of basement bathrooms, okay? Three small stalls, a big one in the corner, a line of urinals with a shot at the front door, which as if by design, squeaks when opened from the outside. <laughs> Thank you, negligent maintenance. Yes. On my left, a pair of white New Balance sneakers, okay? But not like the new hip redesigned, like the old boxy sad ones, okay? <laughs> but they are some of my favorites to cruise, not to wear. Do any of us want to live in a world where I wear white New Balance sneakers? <laughs> Bless his heart. So I tap, he taps, we repeat. Then he initiates kind of like a side-to-side -side shuffle action, which is very cute, right? But like almost kills the vibe for me. Because shockingly, cruising is a very regimented activity. You know, it's very consistent. And like some folks would call them rules, I prefer ritual. But either way, it's important, you know? The religious repetition just adds gravitas to grabbing us in a bathroom stall. <laughs> it's part of the experience, you know? And so just to get us back on track, I go into my go-to move, which, you know, is an homage to 1960s cruising. I just run my finger slowly along the underside of the bathroom stall divider, like a silent movie villain stroking a Formica mustache. <laughs> this is not my first time. I have already tucked my bossy belt buckle into the pant leg so that it doesn't jangle too loudly on the floor. And in one fell swoop, I kneel with my knees under the divider. All right. He is nervous, but follows suit. All right, it's important for me to take charge in these scenarios because you might end up with a newbie who will waste our precious moments. We don't have time for that. So I open my hand like an overeager trick-or-treater. Because sometimes you feel like a nut. Mm. Or two. <laughs> and I'm thinking graduate student, transfer, 1998, very good year. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Then I reach up and go into a simple, sexy rhythm, okay? Up, down, flip the grip, squeeze, stir, repeat.
It's working, all right? His breathing increases, matches tempo with my little procedure. And then the door squeaks open. And it is common courtesy to pause the game when new players enter. <laughs> and I always do, okay? Albeit in no particular rush. However, my nutty little neighbor is clearly spooked, all right? Panics, triggers the flush, washes his hands, and presumably you know, razor scooters into the sunset. <laughs> and of course, I am disappointed. But you know, cruising is like open air bird watching. Enjoy that one in the hand or two in the bush <laughs> before all the cocks fly away. And there are, of course, other methods of sexual satisfaction, I guess. I mean, you can post up in a bar every night and wait for some other lonely heart to look your way, but the slutty ones travel in packs and the smart ones travel in pairs, and they are all dubious of a loud mouth on his own, okay? <laughs> and I guess you could fire up those apps, but who has the time? to sort through all of that indirect, indecisive insecurity and just those piles of poorly lit dick pics. Get a lamp. And dating is just like an endless series of job interviews for a shit position with crap benefits. <laughs> no, thank you. Cruising is fun, and it's frisky, and it's finite. And this is Thursday, okay? That is the best day of the week for this building. So in a show of strength, I climbed to the third floor bathroom. Now, it is a lot quieter up there, which can work to your advantage, okay? Because if you find some company, they are clearly after one thing, all right? And I walk into the first dude who doesn't even, you know, bother with the tapping, just drops to his hands and knees. I'll follow suit, you know, because subtlety is for straight people. <laughs> Get myself set up. And then I feel either a very wet hand or a very dry mouth. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I am all for variety, okay? But this dude has sealed his lips around the head of my cock and inflated his cheeks like a puffer fish. It's like fucking into open space. I do not understand who is benefiting from this technique. So to get the lay of the land, I lean back just to peek, you know, and all I see is greasy blonde hair and a pair of off-brand flip-flops next to his now bare feet. It is 40 degrees outside of this bathroom. Are you impervious to physical sensation? <laughs> Clearly, based on the quality of this blowy, okay? I'm out, out. So I scooch, you know, and just tap him on the back, kind of like when you hug your boss and you want to emphasize how platonic the gesture is. <laughs> and like, it is what it is, right? Of course I'm gutted, but who has the time, you know? As always, I have a million emails to send and a pug to walk around the block and dinner to forage, and here I am, wandering bathrooms with sticky knees. <laughs> but this is how it always goes for me, right? You know, I have great sex, to be fair, but terrible luck. I get shit on, and spit on, and hardly ever hit on. I have been in more than one threesome, which turned into a twosome while I was still present. <laughs> Uh, the first time somebody calls you intimidating, it's funny. And the second time, it's ironic. And every time after that, it's heartbreaking. So sometimes it's nice to skip intimidating and just be anonymous. At least for 30 more minutes before I have to go home and eat my weight in kale and fall asleep cloaked in disappointment. 
but in the basement stall, back again, it's been long enough for everything to kind of reset, there is a pair of running shoes waiting in the open stall door to the big stall here, okay? And that is an invitation that I intend to accept. <laughs> and after an hour of sorting, like, squeaky sneakers, his face is cute and cocky and exactly what I am in the mood for. I sit cross-legged on the toilet so that if anybody peeked under, all they would see is just somebody standing to pee really far back <laughs> for a really long time. But if they're that curious, they probably already know that his delicious dick is riding my ready tongue, all right? Now, the activity in the bathroom has increased. It is rush hour, and rush I must, all right? I flip into hyper suck, silently, of course, and then the only thing better than the smirk on his face is the jizz on my throat. I give him a head start out of the stall, you know, just to, like, regain some blood flow in my legs. And when I walk out, what do I spy but two pains perched at the urinals? Now, dicks are dangling, but nothing's coming out. Clearly, they have been working on that. There's a, there's a slot open between them, and I just saunter right in there like they saved it for me. <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> Everyone's game. So I initiate what I like to call the downhill double dick. The crowd goes wild, okay? <laughs> Enthusiastic support on all sides, all right? And just as Righty reaches to complete the circuit, his tongue to the tip of my penis, the door squeaks open. <laughs> Fuck. I am stuck getting sucked with my pants literally around my ankles. And it only takes a second for my head to turn toward the door, but I am already overflowing with the constant companion of every cruising encounter. Fear. Deep and abiding fear that this is the dick that will lock me up forever. Or this is the left out closet case that'll kick my head into the porcelain. Or this is the moment that the thrill of anonymity has completely eclipsed the reality of intimacy, and I will wander this basement bathroom chasing dicks forever like a purgatory of my own making. I never know when to quit when I'm ahead. And I turn, and we make eye contact, and instead of shouting in shock or punching in fear, he steps to the next urinal. He's dressed entirely in athleisure. <laughs> which makes it very easy for him to unleash the juiciest Johnson that I have ever seen. <laughs> and then he winks. <sighs> <sighs> All of us just let out the breath that we had been holding, and the excitement is far too much for Lefty. He drips all over his Doc Martens. That makes righty pop right into the urinal. And since cruising decorum dictates that different than sex in a bed, when you're done in a bathroom, you can just walk out. Which leaves me and the jolly giant all to ourselves, okay? And when I latch the door to the stall behind us, we forget entirely about the cruising rules, although we both clearly know them. All right? Nobody stands on a toilet or taps out a message. Our mouths just smash into each other, and our hands run free, and our feet shuffle clearly in sight of anyone who's looking. And then all of our clothes start to come off, and we hang them on that hook behind the door for your purse. <laughs> and we are completely naked, except for his black sneakers and my pink ones. And I'll tell you, in the many years that I have been having weird sex and telling everyone about it, <laughs> this is the first time that I have been naked with a toilet and a stranger. <laughs> and then we blow each other like it's going out of style. And we eat ass like we are breaking a fast. <laughs> oh, hungry. And just before we fuck each other hard enough to see the death of God, 
He comes all over my face, and I come all over the tile floor. And cruising rules dictate that he can just walk out silently. But instead, he kisses the cum off of my face, and he slips me his number, and he races off late to class, of course. And I just whisper a very chirpy fuck you to every patronizing stranger who tells me that you'll meet somebody someday. I already have everything I need. Endless possibilities and limited time. <laughs> oh, speaking of, will you excuse me? I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs>